hi guys welcome back to my channel and welcome if you are new today i'm going to be sharing with you all the books that i got in the months of april may and june that is the second quarter of the year i hope you enjoy this video and watch until the end and don't forget to click on the thumbs up icon if you like it and subscribe if you haven't already so in total in the months of i have my reading journal right here so that's what i'm going to be looking down at occasionally so in the months of april may and june i got altogether 49 books and that's why i think this video might become very long so i'm just gonna briefly state the title of the book the name of the author or the poet and a brief line one just one line maybe so we have to move quite quickly in april individually though i got 15 books the first one is the divine sword which was a review copy from pan macmillan india it is originally an Assamese book that was written by rita chaudhry but it was translated into the english by rita borbora i actually have lent it to my sister so i do not have the physical copy with me but it was my first five star read of the year and i really really loved it and i would definitely recommend you to pick that one up as well then um, let's move on to the rest of the books so i have feathers fools and farts manipuri folk tales retold by l somi roy and dr Tangjam hindustani devi so it's a beautiful illustrated kind of like children's classic um, fairy tales but this is the manipuri edition and i'm really looking forward to reading this book i bought it from the buddha grove in guwahati then i wanted to read a couple of um details not a couple of details but details about assam history and assamese literature so i got these two books and we have the history of assamese literature by birin si kumar borwa which was published by sahitya academy and i also have glimpses into the history of assam by p n datta now i got both of these books from borwa book agency in pandasar in guwahati then moving on i also have the serpent and the wings of night by carissa broadband which is book one in the crowns of niaxia series this was a review copy sent to me from Pan Macmillan and I really, really loved it. It's a romantic and amazing read. I have the second book, which I'm going to read in the month of July. Then um, I also got one book, which I was really, really excited for, and it is the Gorman Glass Trilogy by Mervyn Peake. I got it because it was finally on sale on Amazon and I have been wanting to get it for the longest time. I'm a bit intimidated, but uh, by the size but it's three books so i'm definitely going to be doing it it's weird speculative fiction kind of so really looking forward then i have a poetry collection that was sent to me by the author by sonia oinam this is endless i will be the poet is a manipuri poet and i really enjoyed this book and i would definitely recommend you to pick this one up as well uh, moving on i got two more books from the buddha grove in pandasar not in pandasar in guwahati uh, the first one is quartet Chaturanga, which was translated by Bengali. Uh, it was originally written by Rabindranath Tagore, but the translation was done by Nirmal Kanti Bhattacharya. Really, really excited to read it. And I also got uh, The Memory Police by Yoko Ogawa at the same place, that is Buddha Grove. I have heard the best things about this book. It was shortlisted for the 2020 International Booker as well. So I'm really hoping to get to it very, very soon. Um, then I got two books from my friend Shivani from her unhaul. The first is The Vegetarian by Han Kang and it was the winner of the Man Booker International Prize in 2016. Again, it's kind of along those weird uh, speculative fiction kind of stuff. And then I also got from her Unaccustomed Earth by Chumpa Lahiri because I really wanted to read it and um, I actually really loved the cover. So yeah, I got these two books from a friend's unhaul. Then I got Gilmit stories from the tea gardens of assam it was written by gulab count in assamese but the translation that is into english was done by suranjana borwa it's from notion press and it's a beautiful book and i am really really excited to read this book i haven't yet picked it up then we have a review copy from harper collins and it is how to kill a guy in 10 ways by f eve kelman it's about a girl who has this um, kind of vigilante streak and she goes out and um, it rescues girls from problematic situations when men get get too handsy or stuff in clubs and all. So really enjoyed this book. It was quite fun and many thanks to HarperCollins for sending me this review copy. Then I got two books from Readers Hub in Guwahati at the City Centre and both of these are really really amazing. 
First is Julia Armfield's Our Wives Under the Sea. I have actually read this book and I really enjoyed it. It's very different. It's kind of speculative fiction, but it's also literary fiction. So if you like something like that, you'll enjoy it. It also gave me Annihilation by Jeff Benamia vibes. So if you are looking for something along those lines, you are definitely going to enjoy it. And I also got Rouge by Mona Awad, which is along the same lines. I would say it's, it is kind of on beauty, but it's very speculative fiction-ish. Um, there's a sort of cultish vibe to it. So really excited to read it. It's a bit big, so I have been kind of hesitant to pick it up. But I'm sure I'll be able to read it very, very soon. And yeah, many thanks to Readers Hub for these two books. So with that, we are done with all the 15 books that I got in the month of April. And now let's move on to May. In May, I got 10 books, which I think was much better than April. So uh, let's go through them now. All right. So firstly, I got A Fish in Warm Waters by Atunu Kumar Chaudhary. And the foreword has been given by Arup Kumar Dutta. Now, this is a collection of writings by the author. These are mostly essays, travelogues, and so on. I have read a couple of them, and I'm yet to finish it, but I'm really enjoying them so far, and I would definitely recommend this. Again, this is a, a, an Assamese author, and something that I'm recently you know, picking up more of is Assamese and Northeastern literature, so I would definitely recommend you to give this a try as well. Then I have a review copy. It is Late Blooming Cherries, Haiku Poetry from India, and it was edited by Kinfam Singh Nonkindri and Srimi Nath. This was a review copy from HarperCollins, and I really, really enjoyed this book. It is all about um, haiku from different haiku writers across India, and they are so, so beautiful. I would definitely and highly recommend this book. Um, then I got My Poems Are Not For Your Ad Campaign. This was by Anuradha Sharma Pujari. It was originally written in Assamese and uh, the Assamese title was Fridoy Ek Bikyapon but the translated version that is this one uh, has been done by Arne Kashyap so I'm really excited to read it it's a quite short book as well it is um, and sorry the author Anuradha Sharma Pujari is the uh, Sahitya Academy winner also so I'm really excited to read it the Assamese version that is Fridoy Ek Bikyapon is a big big bestseller in India in Assam so I'm really hoping to get to this soon then I have a couple of review copies. Firstly, I have Of Wonder and Wild by Disha Sethi, which is a collection of poems I really enjoyed. And I also have Once Upon a Blink by uh, Pujit Kayon. And this is a collection of flash fiction writings, which was really fun. And I just flew through these really. They all have a bit of uh, moral learning in all of them, which I think was a pretty good addition to these without it being super, super um, pedantic, I think. But this was very good. Um, then I have a couple more um, poetry collections from Assamese writers. The first one is The Dockyard and a Broken Ship by Parasmani Goswami. Wonderful, wonderful book with some nice photography as well on the sides. And I also got Bougainvillea of My Dreams by Lavivia Alam. I am yet to read this one, but I'll be surely getting to it soon. This one also has photography on one side so yeah much uh, much anticipated for me then um lastly i got yet another speculative fiction book and it is what moves the dead by t kingfisher i have heard so much about t kingfisher but this will be my first time reading their work so yeah all the best to me um, and then i got two more books written in hindi and one in assamese the first one is bohat dur kitna dur hota hai by man of call now, I actually thought this was a poetry collection, but it's not poetry. That said, I am excited to read it. It will take me some time because the last time I studied Hindi was in class 7. Um, so it's going to take me some time, but I'm up for the challenge. And I also got an Assamese book, and this is Horaful by Kaushik Nandan Borwa. Again, I came across a couple of reels dedicated to this book on Instagram. And so I thought I'm going to give it a try because I liked what I saw. So, yeah. So those are all the 10 books that I got in the month of May and now we're finally moving on to June. I got 24 books in June which is quite a lot so without further ado let's dive in because these are quite a lot in front of me so yeah. Again there is no particular order but first I am going to share the books that I got in the bookish Santa book haul. Um, so let's see how much of these hills is gold by C. Pam Zhang. I have always wanted to read it but I couldn't but I finally um, got this book. Then I also got uh, Two Like the Lightning, which is Terra Ignotia Book 1, um, a narrative of events of the year 24 
54 by Ada Palmer. I don't know much about it, but it sounds anything along the lines of sci-fi and speculative fiction. So I got this book. Then I also have The Wall of Storms by Ken Liu, um, who is the winner of the Hugo Nebula and World Fantasy Awards. Again, I don't know much about this, but I am definitely up for it. It is the second book in the Dandelion Dynasty. I'm yet to get the first, but I saw this, so I thought I would give it a try. Um, then I also got Atonement by Ian McEwen. I have previously read this book and I gifted that copy to a friend, so I'm happy to finally have my own copy again. Um, then I also got this book and <laughs> I actually um, don't know anything about it. Its name is Peter Schlemihl by Edelbert von Chamiso and it was translated by Leopold von Lowenstein Wertheim. I don't know anything about it, but I'm excited to read it. Then we have a Margaret Atwood and it is Lady Oracle. I love this edition and that's why um, I actually picked it up. I don't think it's uh, a short story collection. I think it's a novel. Yeah, it's a novel and I am hoping to get to it soon. Then I also got Babel Tower by A.S. Byatt. I was actually hoping to get Possession by the author, but I did not. I did get Babel Tower though, so I thought I would just give this book a try and see how their writing is, how I find it. Lastly, at the Bookish Santa Book Fair, I got The Impossible Fairy Tale by Han Yuju. Now, this book has been in my Amazon wishlist for the longest time, so I was happy to get this book um, finally. Uh, now that we are done with the Bookish Santa Book Haul, let's get on with the rest of the books. I got The Book of Life by Deborah Harkness, which is the final book in the All Souls trilogy. That is, you might know it as the Discovery of Witches series. Really loved book one and uh, book one and book two, and I also love the series. So I'm hoping to read the book, the last book in the series. Then I have a review copy that was sent to me by the author, by Ritika Das, and it is Echoes of Existence, Whispers of Life in Poetic Verses. This is a poetry collection and it's quite short, so I am excited to read it. Then I have a book by Nasimi's author and it is The Rajkwa Murders, A Case That Shocked India by Nirupal Guhai. So I'm really excited to read this book and I'll hopefully get to it very, very soon. And I love anything um, crime and mystery. So getting to read that within the Asimi setting, I cannot wait. Um, then moving on, we have another poetry collection. It is Save Me an Orange by Haley Grace. I came across this author narrating one of her, like reciting one of her poems on Reels on Instagram and I was interested, so I got this book. Then I have a review copy, Mouths to Speak, Voices to Sing, Stories by Kenneth Hugh. Many thanks to Penguin India for sending me this book. I'm really, really excited to uh, read this. Then we have Trick Mirror, Reflections on self delusion by Gia Tolentino. Now, I really want to read more nonfiction this year, and so I got this book, which is a collection of essays um, regarding everyday life, social media, and so on. So I think I'll really enjoy this. I have a short story collection as well. This is Nails and Eyes by Kaori Fujino. I think this is a collection of just two or three short stories, three short stories. And it was translated from the Japanese by Kendall Heitzman. So I'm really excited to read it. It has those speculative fiction weird vibes. So I'm looking forward to this one. Then we have a couple of review copies. The first one is The Forest That Ate People and Other Not So Scary Stories by Harshita Hia. This was a review copy sent to me by the author and I am really excited to read it. I actually have read the first story already, really loved it. So I'm looking forward to the rest. It's an Asami's author, so again, I'm more than happy to support them. Um, then I have The Ashes in the Star Cursed King by Carissa Broadbent. And this is book two in the Crowns of Nayaksa series. It was a review copy sent to me by Penn Macmillan India. And I'm finally excited. Uh, and I'm finally, um, yeah, actually excited to read this book because I read the previous book in, I think the last month. So as I showed you in the video, in this video itself. So really happy to pick up this one very, very soon. Then I also got Riverside Stories, Writings from Assam and edited by Ivana Malika from Zuban Publishers. So I'm really, really excited for this book and I'll hopefully get to it soon. I'm actually also filming a reading vlog for it simultaneously. So perhaps we'll get to see that soon as well. Then speaking of review copies, and I got another one. It is the Mosaic, a collection of poems by Swati Chopra. Now this was sent to me by Rupa Publications and I really enjoyed it. And I think whoever designed this cover should get a raise for sure. So very pretty cover. 
then i got uh, finally got a book that i have been wanting to read for the longest time and it is Raina Maria Rilke's Letters to a Young Poet. I think everybody's everybody's heard of this book, so I'm finally happy to get this book. It's very short as well, so I think I'll probably get to it soon. And moreover, I think this is one of the books I really want to read in 2024. It's in my 24 books for 2024 list, so hoping to get to that soon. Then we also have Good Morning Midnight by Jean Rees. I have read White Sargasso Sea by the author previously, and I've heard this one is just as good and short. So yeah, we'll give this one a try as well. We also have the details by Ia Genberg uh, and it was shortlisted for the International Booker Prize this year, 2024. It's short and written kind of vignettes, so I'm really excited. It was translated by Kira Josephson, I think. And yeah, it's only got good reviews from everyone I know, so really excited for this. The last two books, finally we're at the end of this haul. Um, I got Under the Bokul Tree by Brinal Kolita. Now this was actually also an Assamese novel and it has been translated by Parthapati Muguswami. This was the, uh, the author is the winner of Sahitya Academy's Bal Sahitya Puraskar of 21. Lovely cover. It was published by uh, Penguin and I am pretty excited for this. And the last book we have is Butter by Sako Yuzuki, translated by Polly Barton. It was originally written in Japanese. And I have just finished this book. And let me tell you, this is such an amazing book. Would definitely recommend this. So those are all the 49 books I got in the last three months. I really enjoyed filming this video. And I hope you had fun too. And took some recommendations as well. But yeah, that's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you have watched until the end, don't forget to click on the thumbs up icon. And subscribe if you haven't already. It would mean the world to me. And I am going to wrap it up now. I have been filming the whole day today actually, so I'm quite tired. But anyway, thank you so much for watching and I love you all. Bye!